VG101 said to VG78, these people are killing our mother, our mother-in-law, and our brother's two children. They didn't do anything wrong. Only a handful of people survived, and all of those still alive came to testify before the trial chamber. However, 59 people were burned alive. The Milan Lukic defense challenged the very occurrence of the fire in Adam Omaradji's house through a number of experts who visited the site in January 2009. The trial chamber has endorsed the view of the experts that the longer a crime scene investigation is delayed, the less reliable the conclusions that can be drawn. Under cross-examination by the prosecution, the experts qualified their conclusions to such an extent as to render their overall findings practically without foundation, including agreeing that a fire could have taken place and that an incendiary device exploded in Adam Omarajit's house. Consequently, the trial chamber has placed little weight on their evidence. On the basis of the acceptance by the Vasilevich trial chamber of Mitar Vasilevich's alibi in relation to the Pierniska Street incident, the Milan Lukic defense also challenged the credibility of a number of prosecution witnesses who recalled seeing Mitar Vasilevich there. On the evidence presented in this case, the trial chamber by majority, Judge Robinson dissenting, has found that Mitar Vasilevich was in fact present on Pierniska Street during the robbery in Yusuf Mimich's house and during the transfer to and burning of Adam Omaradji's house. The evidence shows that Milan Lukic was inside Yusuf Mimich's house and that he robbed the victims of their valuables. He was present and armed when the strip searches were being carried out. He also participated in removing a number of women from the house who reportedly were raped. Milan Lukic participated in the transfer of the victims to Adam Omaradji's house and the evidence shows that it was he who closed the door once the group was inside the room. The trial chamber has also found that it was Milan Lukic who placed the explosive device in the room, thereby setting the house ablaze. Furthermore, the trial chamber found that he shot at the windows of the house and that he shot at and wounded VG-13 as she escaped. The evidence shows that Sredeo Lukic, a police officer in Visegrad, was also present and armed at Yusuf Mimic's house, including while the robbery and strip searches were taking place inside and when the women were removed. The trial chamber has found that he was also present during the transfer to Adam Omarajit's house. 
However, while the trial chamber has concluded that there is no reliable evidence that Swedeo Lukic set Adam Omaraj's house on fire or shot at the windows as people tried to escape, it has, George Robinson dissenting, found that by his presence and by being armed, Swedeo Lukic substantially contributed to the deaths of the 59 people trapped in the house. Trial Chamber has found that Swedeo Lukic aided and abetted in the cruel treatment and inhumane acts committed against them. The other incident charged in which Muslim civilians were burned alive occurred at Mayor Alici's house in Bikavats. Zeret Turyachanin testified in relation to this incident. She presented a sad, tragic, but heroic figure. Permanently disabled as a result of this event and scarred for life, she has broken all ties with her former homeland. Her evidence, as well as the evidence of other witnesses, shows that Milan Lukic and other armed men forced a group of approximately 70 Muslim civilians into Mayor Alic's house, locking them inside. All the exits had been blocked by heavy furniture and the garage door was also placed against the door to prevent escape. Gunshots were fired at the house and grenades were thrown inside, setting the house on fire. Witnesses VG58 and VG35 vividly remembered the terrible screams of the people in the house. And I quote, like the screams of cats, end of quote. The trial chamber has found that at least 60 Muslim civilians were burned alive. The Milan Lukic defense also challenged the occurrence of the Bikavats fire through its experts. For the reasons mentioned earlier, the trial chamber has placed little weight on this evidence in relation to the Bikavats fire. It has placed no weight on the evidence of the defense psychological expert, George Howe, who provided views on the evidence of Zera Turyachanin, the sole survivor of the incident, without having had any contact with her. The defense also challenged the credibility of Zera Turyachanin because in the period immediately following her escape from the fire, she gave various accounts to Serb soldiers and a doctor of how she received her horrific burns. The trial chamber has found that Zera to reactioning is a witness of truth. Her differing accounts do not cast doubt on her evidence. The trial chamber is satisfied that Milan Lukic was present and armed throughout the incident. He used the butt of his rifle to push people in the house, saying, Come on. Let's get as many people inside as possible. After the victims were locked inside, he shot at the house, threw grenades into it, and subsequently set it on fire using petrol. However, with respect 
to Swedeo Lukic's presence during the incident. The trial chamber by majority, Judge David dissenting, has found that Zera Toriachin's evidence is inconclusive. And the chamber by majority, Judge David dissenting, is not satisfied that Swedeo Lukic was present at the Bikavats incident. <laughs>